right, everybody. So I'm going to be doing a couple different series at the moment, and I'm not exactly sure uh, which ones will be posted when and what first, but I want to do this one at least for the next month. Uh, it might just be like a mini series, might just be one or two episodes. Pretty much, I want a boss to make some money. I don't know what boss I really want to camp and just focus on, so I made a spin wheel. Now, how we are going to go about it is relatively simple. We are, and I'll pull it up here in a second for you guys, I'm going to spin on it. I've got to kill that boss until I get a rare. Now, if it is something like ED1, ED2, ED3, well, those are a bit different. So, say we get ED1 for, like, say, Seiru, uh, or Sairu, whatever his name is, right? Um, now, unless we get one of the uh, drop from one of the other bosses, we have to roll on the high scale drop. So, like, 20 scales or something. One of the rare drops from ED1. Uh, I think that's how I'm going to go about it for those. Just to make it make sense uh, for me, because I'm not going to camp Seiru for... Uh, essentially the pet I mean that's as far as I'm aware that think that's the only thing he really has to drop so we would have to do something like say a 10 to 20 uh, drop on his uh, well that's a trio drop let me look at his solos so it's like a 5 and 100 4 and 100 for a 20 plus so uh, we would do like a 20 plus so let's go and pull up the wheel and see what we're gonna get Okay, so here we are. This might be a little... Let me drag this down just a hair. Okay, so we've got these bosses in here. Some of these don't make money. I'm aware of that. But I do need logs, so I think it's... I don't know necessarily. You know, should I take off Grardor, which uh, most of his drops are like 100k for a rare. I don't know, but that's we're going to leave this on here because I do need logs for these. So what we're going to do is we're going to spin it and see what we get and see what we can get as potential drops that we'll need to get. This could get really, really bad. Um, you know, things like Chaos and Elemental, I'll just need to like a Dragon 2-hander. Not all that bad. Uh, Corp Beast could be really rough on getting a, uh, a rare drop. It's pretty much I just want a log item. But let's see what we get for the first one here. Oh, almost got, speaking of the devil, ED1. I guess we are going to run ED1. So, let me pull up real quick for you guys, show you what all I can get as potential things from ED1 here. Now, it is just, in general, ED1, so the boss is leading up to ED1's final boss, Seiru, Seiru will be something that we can uh, kind of play for. All right, so here we are. We are looking at the Sanctum Guardian here. He doesn't really have much drops. This is the first boss that you face. or It's not one of the mini bosses. It is one of the first boss. Of course, you know, getting any of these items would be dice. But it's not going to count. I need Log. And for him, you've got really the fishy treat. And he has a, I think, just a pet. I'm out to pull it up in game and see, but I think that's really about it. Is searching mainly for the fishy treat, so not too bad. So if we get that, will be nice. It is considered a rare drop. Uh, doesn't say much more than that. Masuda, this is the second one, arguably the most annoying out of all of them. His main drops are the Masuda's War Spear, Himiko's Vision, uh, which is just a book. And some onyx dust, nothing too crazy. So you know, hey, if we get the war spear, it's not a ton of money, but it is a log item, and we'll move us on to the next roll. And the last one, Seiru, I guess. This is where really the money maker is in the entirety of ED1, and that is rolling on the ancient scales. So, you know, you could get unlucky, and I, I say unlucky. You know, each kill is probably going to get you somewhere around five mil. But if you get really lucky, you can hit one of these more rare rolls. Uh, of course, he does have a pet uh, or whatever. Yeah, this is a uh, pet. But you can roll anywhere from the 5 to 100 to 1 in 100 and get 25 to 142 mil. So really nice. Now, I'm not really going to be doing much for like duos. 
I'm going to mainly just do solos. I need to get better at doing more bosses that way. We've got all of this. And then we can take a look here and pull up in game what we are going to go through. So we pull up our beast here. Now, they don't have it organized by ED1, ED2, ED3, etc. You know, like this is ED3's boss. So we can go through and click. Uh, let's find our one and only Cyru. You can see I've only killed him once in solo, and it took me a very it took me seven minutes. But we will work on improving that. So from the Temple of a Mini a Minishi, this is all of ED1. You got Fishy Street. You got the two books, Masuda's War Spear. I've got 34 Ancient Scales and the pet. So what we're going to be targeting is Fishy Treat, Masuda's 20 plus Ancient Scale Drop, or the pet, and then we can move on to the next one. All right, this is the first kill. I definitely messed up more than I would have liked to, but it's uh, you know it happens. It's kind of a learning curve as I get back to really PVMing. But should be able to do fine. I wasn't able to one phase it, which is okay. You know, I will get better. I probably should have fingered and done it that way, but hey, it's okay. And it looks like we only got six ancient scales this time, so not the greatest. Definitely not the greatest. Uh, but hey, we did improve our kill by two times. So I can't really complain, but it definitely could be better. Let's go the 20 ancient scales. We'll take it. We'll take it. That's all I wanted Okay, so as you saw in the drop we did get a 20 or plus and That's really all I needed. So we're going to remove ED1 from here for now and we will spin again now Hopefully we get something good Hopefully not. Well, I mean Raziel would be good but at the same time I Oh uh, no. Oh. Okay. Araxi it is. I am. Uh, I've never got a drop here. So <laughs> hopefully we get something. Currently it is uh, two terrible areas. It is the middle and the uh, top. But I guess we'll go and camp some Araxi. Alrighty. So first kill. Good luck. Good luck to me. We did just finish it. We have nothing in the log, and since we did just kill it, I wonder if it'll say it. I've killed 31, so we started at 30. It is currently the bottom and middle, which is great. The kill should be fast. One mil, Onyx Bolts E. I actually don't mind getting that. Uh, we'll go back and uh, try to get another kill. Hopefully, we can get something. It's not a terrible drop rate. But then again, I always feel like I'm relatively unlucky with this boss. Now, I haven't killed a ton. I mean, as we see, 31 kills isn't a lot. But I am coming close to the drop rate for a piece. So, hoping to get something, hopefully. Alright, kill number two here. Nothing. Uh, Hydrax ball tips. I mean, not bad. Eventually, we will just start pet chancing these, but... Uh, not now kill times are a little long four minutes i think that's long i don't know i'm i'm not sure what's considered a good time at araxi but whatever and here we are at kill number three and overload flasks at 24k value the overloads are nice but do we really want overloads and stone spirits Oh, not really, no. I mean, what is that? Like 12 overloads? Like It's probably like 1 mil, but uh, hey, we're, we shoot 40 occasionally. Just uh, no luck this time. This was an awful kill. I learned I should not be talking to people in my clan chat uh, while the shadow's on me because I didn't realize the damage increased the entire time I was standing in there. So... I did get signed doing so. Uh, I didn't realize that the damage ramped up. So, hey, uh, it happens. Here we go with a another kill and nothing again. I don't know how many kills it will take. Hopefully not too many. I am pushing the enrages right now. Um, but we'll have to see. 
Cool. There is killing Araxi at 100% rage. Uh, first time I've ever actually killed multiple in one day, in one go. And let's go! Yes! Yes! Oh, I'm so ecstatic right now. Uh, and I, I know I should probably push this kill a bit more and just go ahead and push the enrage for the achievements. But on the achievement kill for 100 enrage, we get the spider leg bottom first ever piece. Uh, I'm so happy and a collection log item. Oh, that actually feels really, really good to get done. So let's uh, pop on up the wheel now. And what are we going to be killing next? Uh, where is our wheel? Did it hopefully save it? It looks like it did. Let me look it over real quick. Make sure we remove Araxi from the list. Uh, mainly because I don't want to sit here and just do the same boss on repeat. And pop this up onto the screen for y'all. And let's spin. What is our next boss we are going to camp? Please be something fun. It looks like it'll be Hellweir. Okay. Uh, not a lot of fun. But I'm okay with that. So. Let's gear up and get ready to kill some hell weird boys uh, and girls. Super, super, super happy with how things have gone so far. I, can, I know you can AFK hell weird, actually. Uh, but I do have work here in a little bit, so I don't know how far I will be able to go. Not too bad. This is a gorgeous piece to our collection. Uh, not sure how far I can go because I'll probably just camp like Criara. Uh, hopefully get the pet while I am at work. I don't know just yet, but uh, that's kind of my game plan for the day. That or I will do arc and work on some of my master quest cape uh, kind of progress. Get uh, essentially just different master quest cape or trim things done. I don't know what exactly I'll do just yet. Also depends on how busy work is going to be today. So uh, hard to say for certain. And our first kill's down. Nothing to get from here, but that's okay. Uh, if we are looking, I think it is... I'm at 110 kills now, so we were at 109 when we started this. And the only thing we've got, uh, which wasn't even from here, is the dormant Anima Core Helm. Uh, I'm not going to count the dormant pieces. Uh, it's got to be like Serenic Essence, a Wand, Pet, Orb... Uh, or the crest. So I'm not going to count the dormant. I don't think that's fair to consider those. Uh, for any of the God Wars Dungeon 2. Um, and pretty much I'm just going to kind of manually this. I think I can get a few kills in inventory if I don't sit here and just tank stupid damage like I am there. And if I just pay attention. Uh, this should be very easy boss. All things considered. Well, sadly, it doesn't count, but that is technically the first drop here, the dormant anima core legs. Now, I do need to work on getting my reputation up here. I'm only getting 50% better drops than what I could, which is definitely not what I want. Um, I'm going to finish off this one hour, and then I'll be going to work, so I probably won't do any kills here. One, uh, I can't record. So it would just be missed, and I don't think that's the best. Uh, so I'll probably just work on some other things in the meantime. But I have done, you know, for Vindicta, I've finished it off. Uh, my Zami's almost done, but my Sliske here and my Saren are not good. So I'll need to get those reputations up, uh, preferably to max. So I might work on that too eventually. Um, I know I need to. Uh, and I probably should turn on my win book. I think that might help because I'm doing the PVMEs AFK setup. And it's it's moderate to say. Uh, it works decent until um, I get, say, shrooms on top of me. Now I am running just my tier 95 gear. That's perked out. Uh, I might if I... It's only going to cost me a couple mil to perk out my tier 90 so that might be something apparently you're supposed to do it with run being off huh interesting whatever uh not sure why 
I'm guessing for his uh, second melee dash he does where he applies the bleed. I'm not sure. But regardless of that, I might work on perking that tier 90 um, with the recommended perks that they do and just seeing if that makes it a little bit better or not. I'm not sure. All right, hopefully <clears throat> I sound awful, but I'm going for Crystal Shield 4. Why does it say I can't? I don't understand that. Uh, hello? Oh, no. I just wasted. I grabbed a tool gizmo. Oh, no. It's an armor gizmo I need. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, that's embarrassing. I got f materials for four. Wait, what do I need? What am I lacking here? Ah, historic components. Okay, so I might have to buy some historic components if we don't get lucky. I mean, it's nearly a 100%, so we're just going to go for it. I, I got to roll for like two things. So we're going to try this again. Enhanced Devoted, cool, Crystal Shield 4, uh, I'm going really for Absorbative 3 and 4, and then Crystal Shield, okay, uh, neat, but not what I need, not what I need, not what I need, okay, so we got it, uh, sweet, we're going to toss this Enhanced Devoted, or actually no, Crystal Shield, because this is for the where is crystal shield we're toss it on here that is perfectly good and then i will need to just go ahead and i guess chunk these in here for now i now have scavenging looting and crystal shield nice and then i need to get absorbative but i need to go buy some historic components so we're gonna go and try that Okay, we still have a little bit of our buff left. Let's see if we can get absorbative. It is the fungal components, I believe is what they're called. I don't have a ton of them, and it is almost all of them. Absorbative 3 to 4, preferably. We would like to get absorbative 4 for our plate body. I know it's not like best in slot. Oh, first try. We like to see that. That is perfectly fine. I think... Oh, it's not even augmented. Oh, wow. I never even augmented it. Okay. Uh, that's actually embarrassing. Yeah, we'll go ahead and augment it. Toss this on there. And then I guess we'll find another perk that would go really well. Because this is just the tank gear. Um, so I'm not sure what I'll run yet. Okay, I've got to say. With this armor... Uh, parked out like it is this is just so much easier so much more afk uh i mean i don't even really have to do anything i can just make sure my prayer doesn't drop too crazy if i'm not taking any damage and uh yeah I, this is fully afk uh, which i absolutely love oh there we go we it only took us <laughs> about uh 72 kills but we got a drop and we are gonna afk here a bit uh, i'm on the phone but we'll do the next roll all right i'm still afking so you might hear some of the background of me killing kelly uh whatever but let us see what we get for the next boss um this is i'm really happy because i'm getting to learn uh some afk things improve at some bosses Oh, or is it going to be Corp? It is going to be some Corp Beast. This one could be a long grind. Uh, going to test out some different setups. I haven't really tried it much, so uh, really excited. You know, Corp Beast, if we were to minimize this real quick here and pull this up uh, so you can see we still AFK, no drop. Uh, that would have been really cool actually to see a drop. Let's go take a look at Corp Beast. And you can see we've got all of our sigils. We've got the pet. I've only killed 52 of them. Holy elixir and the spirit shield. Uh, I don't think counting the spirit shield makes any sense uh, for any means. Uh, so we're going to take a look here at the drop rates. 
and let's see what we are going to be expecting. So the Holy Elixir is a 3 and 5, 12 with all of these sigils except for the Spectral. Uh, so you have one in 2560 for the Arcane Elijah and Divine, and then a one in 1280 for the Spectral. Uh, the, the, it says the drop rate for a sigil is one in 512 if he rolls the table. So one in 512. I, you know what? We will go for a sigil. Um, I will make the choice to say we will axe, even though it is still pretty rare. It's only a three in 512. We will axe the Holy Elixir, and we will make it have to be a sigil. So, I don't know if I can if the AFK setup will work really well. I don't have all of the melee gear, so I'll have to do necromancy. Uh, is what it looks like it's gonna have to be. But uh, hey, it's gonna be some AFKing. Maybe an hour, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four. It might take even longer. We might go really dry. There is no telling. But uh, that's kind of the excitement of this is I get to work on collection logs and also make money. I also uh, will try to remember, but we are up to about 100 mil in total that we've made from this, or right about. Um, from the kills here, we made about 20 mil in total from all the loot. Uh, and we made, you know, about 70 ish mil. And then all the others. So, you know, hey, we're doing decent, making a decent little change. We're at about 100 mil so far. We do need a few bill in the next month. That is really the goal here is to make a few bill and be able to be set up for double XP. Uh, I've got 16 minutes left on this. I really just didn't want to waste any of my penance powders or anything else. I'm already here. I'm already set up. I'm going to go ahead and just finish off this hour. And then I will mess around with Corp. Uh, I will be doing some AOD tonight. So that might speed up the progress. I know it is not on the wheel, but it is part of my clan's event. And I am not going to pass up some clan AOD events. Wait, what? Region bracelet? Is that a log item? How did I just get a region? What? Where? I don't even know where that comes from. Okay, never mind. That is just a uncommon drop from here. It's the first time I've gotten it. So it shocked me whenever I, I saw like, oh, I got something new. Um, but yeah, no, it's just a just an uncommon drop from the corp. Nothing too crazy. And I got me some more stuff to disassemble here. Uh, I'm just simply, oh, and I didn't even, I haven't even noticed, but yeah, getting all these blue charms is going to be very nice. I need like 20,000 more, I think. So I've got a little bit of ways. I'll, I will end up doing a lot of Arch Glade Core, uh, more than likely for most of it. All right, here we are at the end of the first hour. I got one cannonball drop, a decent amount of the Onyx drops, which you know i'm not complaining about by any means 325 uh blue charms and 91 crimsons so not bad we got four region bracelets let's go ahead price check this uh i won't in the future include the cannonballs just because i will uh be using them and let's see here price checking everything out we made just under seven mil in that hour uh not too shabby if i must say so myself but um uh, of course i would like to get things <sighs> i forget these are going to get organized all out of whack but of course go ahead and go back here i am hoping to get other things but we will i'm gonna go do an aod hour and then we'll come back and afk some more so we ended up getting a appraisal drop uh which is nice it's uh, gonna be like a 60 mil split so a little bit of money to the double xp collection uh, here we are coming close to the end of the second hour we've gotten a good amount of the onyx bolt drops and only two drops of the cannonballs which isn't too bad we are sitting at 163 kills so we are over that 100 kill mark uh not too bad we're making decent money. I mean, it says we're making, well, 
That's a bit inaccurate. It says we're making 34 mil per hour. I That's not right because, well, it's factoring in the fact that we just got a cannonball drop. And the cannonball drop in, you know, it's going to inflate that a bit. So definitely not making that amount of money. I, I wouldn't think so at least, but I I would probably say we're making like 12, 13, 14 mil an hour. You know, if, if I had to take a shot in the dark. Um, you know, the rune bolts are going to add up. We got the white berries drop, which is not bad. We did get 4K of these, and we are always getting a ton of region bracelets. So we're at 10 mil. So, so far it's 10 mil an hour. I mean, that is not factoring in the cost of everything else. But it's not bad. Still nothing. Just going to collect these spirit shields. But I would like to get one of the sigils that are at least worth 20, 30 mil. Or if not, at a minimum, the pet would be nice to get as well. Well, there is the hour completed. Going to be going to bed here. Uh, it is getting a bit late, and I don't want to be up way too late. Going to go ahead and just bank and re-gear so when I wake up tomorrow, I can continue on to this grind. Well, there is another collection log item, Holy Elixir. Now, I... <laughs> Sitting here for on my third hour, I'm sitting here thinking I should have just said this would have counted, but we said it wouldn't, so it's not going to. Sadly, we are at 182 kills right now. Uh, hopefully, we get a back to back here. You know, that would be really nice. That'd actually be really nice. Well, let's see what we uh, can do here, I should say. Uh, this should be a relatively simple enough kill and hey maybe we get something and we move on so we're gonna stay here recording for the rest of it I am smithing on my alt account right now um, it's just been non-stop smithing on that account do we get a back-to-back -back? we do not we get more stone spirits and here is a, another hour done at the Corp Beast. Uh, not nearly. I feel like I went pretty bad on drops overall. Maybe I'm wrong. We didn't get any cannonballs. So money wasn't all that good. Uh, so we made in that hour 6 mil. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, you know, and I didn't price in the Holy Elixir there. Uh, so that's you know something and we can just load this preset here. Do we still have this? Yes, we got two of those that should be just fine Am I missing anything? Mm, no, but we'll grab an extra one of these just in case since my aura is going to be running out and We will continue on with the next hour well, that's not the item I necessarily wanted, but it is a collection log item. Uh, it is just 200k. I'm AFKing here because I had the Reaper task, so I'm just kind of sad here. Uh, today's buff is going to be really nice. It is for the Ushaptis that I'll be doing. And so I could do the healing. Actually, the healing would be really nice for bossing. Or like, extremely nice for bossing. It would make a lot of them say Zami a lot easier for me but uh, the Ushaptis do require some achievements so I'm not going to worry too much I'm going to focus on that in the meantime and we'll uh, go from there but yeah some extra money to the uh, double XP time uh, well in doing my Reaper we got the Akrasay's Hood uh, nice collection log that's my actually, I, I was say, I've been dry for a drop for a while. That's, isn't it pet? So you got DM. No, that's not a pet, is it? Yeah. No, it's a sapling. Oh. That's, a cheap, cheap that's not. A... Damn, I got me a sec. Okay, so as soon as I kill Torag here with his own hammer, I should be able to get the achievement. Yes, Brothers in Arms. And do we get a drop? Uh, of course not. But that is perfectly fine. We now have that achievement done. 
That was a tough kill. <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. Oh, nice, Habibi. Oh yeah. yeah let's go. I got a, I got Windows 11 key. I can get that kill with me, so I'm salty. I can see if we can like. Cause I don't need okay. that. Yeah, we'll go again. Second run. Okay. Okay. But and damn, nothing. Reroll. Nothing. I'm grabbing my loot from. Dang! The Look at that, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry Alex. Always gets a drop. Oh, we got a ton of drops. Effigy, so you're gonna get F E pet. Damn. <laughs> I tried to throw fucking dogs around me. Uh, I'll stay with the wood. Alright. <laughs> Collect Yaka and uh, oh, two two mils, not a bad one. Huh? Got oh collection log, the Vizzy? No way, that's crazy. Oh, Stone Spirits, let's go. Okay, so I just finished up the Magister Reaper task that I had, and we got two Vital Spark Drops, so that's a cool 25 mil we got in just Vital Sparks uh, from this Reaper task. Pretty nice, if you ask me. Yo, thank you, Rez. Actually, yeah, no, no greeny green. Yeah, no green. On it. Okay, I am actually officially just tired of killing this boss. I am at 900 kills. I know I haven't done many check-ins because, well, frankly, it felt kind of like a waste. Um, I have been doing, you know, a bunch of other PVMing and bossing, but, uh, you know, in any time that I've got an hour straight... I've been sat here at court. Uh, mind you, we started at like, what, 50 kills, 52 kills, and uh, we're now at 900. Now, log-wise, I haven't even been recording the Holy Elixirs. We're at six Holy Elixirs, 21 of the shields with zero sigils. Now, I know the drop rate. I know the drop rate is high. It's, it's a rare drop, but, I mean, come on, man. In addition, uh, I did hit an extremely rare roll for a master clue scroll from this boss. I just want, you know, and I know I'm complaining, but I'm hoping that uh, the Jagex gods, you know, if you complain, you get a drop. I'm hoping they hear it and I get a drop. Uh, I don't care. Sigil, pet, something. You know, the pet would be nice, but sigil is money and I this is for money. So either one. Uh, would be appreciated. You know, I, I would be making so much money if I was doing pretty much, like, anything else. You know, I, well, I, Raziel is going to be an annoying one if I get really unlucky with drops. But, you know, that might happen. I would love to go and actually grind out Zami. Like, I, someone taught me how to do 100% Zamis, and it's been really nice. So, we'll see. Uh, what I roll whenever I eventually get a drop from here. Oh, finally. Holy shit. That's That took me 920 kills to get. What am I going to be stuck at next? Something like fun would be cool. Oh, I almost got the legions. <laughs> I got magister. No, not bad at all. Okay, so we got the magister. So that means we have 
Well, a couple things, but we're not going to count these. And so we have two things we can get. It is going to be either Gloves of Passage, which is a 1 in 500 drop rate, or the Pet, which starts off at 1 in 1,000. Uh, I'm not going to count Vital Sparks, even though those will be great money. We will actually reset all of this just so we can track a little bit more accurately. Uh, reset all these rows. And yeah, let's go and see how quickly I can get these gloves. Okay, so I sort of messed up. Normally I've been like tracking my kills. Um, uh, spawned right beside me, cool. So I'm at 161, uh, 156. I've done a, f this is my third inventory. So we started at about, uh, we'll say 140 kills roughly. Uh, and you know, right now we've lost one mil, but we've gotten 19 mil in drops. We got one vital spark drop, uh, which is nice. And did I bone bomb? I don't think so. Uh, but, you know, it's pretty chill. Nice little method here. Pretty much full inventory. You set up your rotations and uh, that's it. Sweet. Another phylactery. I'm just opening these because it's not tradable. Uh, but you use them to upgrade a weapon or something along those lines. I'd have to go back and look. But, uh, yeah, it's neat. <laughs> As I complained about you. <laughs> it's, I mean, yeah, that sucks. Let's go. Okay, so we got pet pretty quickly there. Uh, let's see what we get now. Oh, getting a lot of progress done on this. Let's see. Are we going into Zilliana? That's okay. I actually need a lot for log there. So let's go and take a look there. Zilliana, we don't have much for log. And I don't have a ton of kills. I think I'm at like 300. A 400. And you can see here I've gotten a Hiss, a Sarah Sword, and that is it. So really, we're going to be targeting any of the uniques no war priest no godsword shards of course and if we pull up the kill for it let's take a look let's see here so it is a one in 320 for a sarah sword a murmur a hiss a whisper one in seven six eight for the shards one in five twelve for the hilt one in six forty for the crossbows and for the pet, wherever that is, it's a 1 in 5,000 with a threshold of 1,000. So let's go and gear up. I think I actually have a preset already for Zilliana with some stuff. This way I can just AFK it. And I actually don't plan to pick up these items anymore. But we can see this is currently the... Uh, ignoring these, but pretty much from like... I will say from like here down for the most part. Yeah, from the black, from the leather down is some loot. I just started stockpiling at this point instead of selling it. And of course, like the onyx bolts and like some gems and things that uh, just aren't being banked, aren't going towards it. But overall, I mean, I'm quite happy with how this is all turned out. Let's go. There is the log item and the drop. Not too many kills. Uh, where are we at now? 450. That was actually really fast. We're still in the same hour. It's been, you know, 45 minutes. So let's spin. I'm just going to AFK, see if we get a back-to-back -back drop here. Uh, let me actually fix this real quick. And let's take a look. Switch on over here. And do we get a... What do we get? What do we get? No, really. No ED2. I was actually kind of hoping I would. Twin Furies it is. So, let us go and do so. And we got a back-to-back. Back-to-back-to-back, -to -back. <laughs> uh, -back -back -back, maybe? Okay, uh, I'm not even kidding you. This is back to back to back now. 
Alright, so we are just AFKing some Gregorovich right now, mainly for a Reaper task. Uh, I didn't gear up quite right. I think I'll be alright. For now, at least. But let's go here and find the Twin Furies. I did not go over this. So I have 146 kills on the collection. I've only got a Zami Essence and a Blade of Nine Mora. So, what drops can we get? Uh, I'm not... Technically, I should count the Dormant because it's just as rare as the Blades. I don't know if I necessarily will. But we'll need the Blades, both of them, uh, either one of them. So, 1 in 512 up to 1 in 256. So, not all that super rare. The Zami Essence, 1 in 128 to 1 in 164. And the Crest being 1 in 512 to 1 in 256. And either of the two pets are 1 in 2000, 210, and 2000. So, not all that bad. Uh, Money-wise, nothing there is all that huge. So, I mean, maybe 3, 5 mil. I do just what have... Uh, the Twin Furies maxed out, so I will be hitting more along the lines of like 1 and 300 or so drop rate. Um, if I get dormants quickly, I may not count it. I might just say, hey, let's scratch this, uh, go and make it something else. But as of now, they are technically the same rarity. So I will count them if we do get them, unless it is just like ridiculous uh, we'll have to see <clears throat> well as you can see on the screenshot here this was today uh, I was not uh, able to record it but you can see I did get the blade of avarice so we actually had a fantastic day in terms of drops uh, like actually phenomenal we can take a look and I can show you so go ahead and bank this we got a blood necklace shard. We got chain skirt, two gloves, buckler, avarice, two essence, which are, mind you, 5.6 mil each, and a kopesh. And I got a bunch of vital sparks, and I did some slayer tasks. I mean, we, we made a good amount of money today. So with that, let us go ahead and spin for the next one. What are we going to get? I did add Telos into this because I do want to learn Telos. And it's a good excuse to learn. Please stop on Croesus. We have a Croesus hour tonight. Yes! Yes! Oh, boys. Ooh. Okay, hopping back here. Let's take a look. Oh, I forgot to claim that reward there. So, cool. Wait, what is that? Current challenge streak one do you get streaks I, I I don't know regardless so Croesus I've killed 70 of them and we can look at the collection I've only gotten two things the scripture and the sack which I recorded but the rest of the drops are technically a 1 in 5400 drop chance all of them except for the pet it's actually one in a thousand to ten in a thousand but mind you these drop rates are influenced because there are a maximum of 12 rolls assuming you hit 420 contribution or higher so what that actually means is one in 50 for just any unique you know that's pretty good now we don't want the sack again that's the cheapest it's like 20 mil we don't really, like, the scripture's like 100 mil, 130, 140 mil. The Crypt Room gloves and boots, I'd prefer not to get. Uh, boots would be okay. The gloves are 20 mil. The top bottoms and all, there are a few hundred mil. So that is what we are going to target. All right. So today's been a crazy day, to say the absolute least. I got the Criara pet, which was amazing. And on top of that, we got another pet. We got two pets today, one of them absolutely spooned. And that is the Hellweird pet, which I am at right now. Hellweird gave me the pet. I got three pieces of armor. We made money. 
it's been a great day and after i finish this hour which will end after reset oh as i'm recording i get a log item and that's 21 mil oh we our log here is absolutely spoon arena we have the bet all we need is the wand and an anima core body and this whole thing is done if every boss was like this, I mean, holy, holy crap. Let's go. Virtus Rogue Top drop 30 mil to the loot collection. Do my little Reaper task. That is a, always a nice little co collection log and a drop actually. 30 mil, not bad. Okay, so I've made the decision. I'm going to reroll Croesus here. The reasoning behind it is, well, simple. And it's because I can't consistently be able to get games going. Uh, there isn't always a public instance going on. And thus, there's times where I can go and sit down and do three hours of Croesus. But because there's nothing going on and I can't get anybody else to do it, I can't simply just can't kill the boss so um gonna have to reroll it because it's just something that'll take forever unless i just get lucky so we're gonna reroll this let's see what we get vindy okay this is fine with me i can actually uh well i can afk it pretty well and i might do it today while i'm that's work. So if I get a drop, uh, you know, that's where I'll be at. So really happy to see that. And let's get it running. All right. So I'm here. I'm just AFKing right now at the abyss, trying to level up some stuff. But let's take a look at our Vindy. So we can see Vindicta, oh, Vindicta and Gorvek. I've done 264 kills, zero hard mode kills. On my collection, I have got actually a pretty decent one. It's really just a, the pets. I've already gotten the Crest of Zeros, two Dragon Rider Lances, uh, two Essence, and the Legs, and Helm from here. So we're going to go and run it. 264 kills. We'll see how long it takes me to get, uh, I mean, really, the Crest or the Dragon Rider Lance or a pet are sort of my only options. <laughs> that I can get, I, I, you know, I'm not counting, even though they're technically pretty rare. Um, I, sorry, this guy had added me and I've messaged me. Um, I've just been kind of chatting with him, but uh, the drops aren't too rare. They're not too bad. Uh, nothing that I'm too concerned about. So we're gonna go and uh, begin doing this. Well, today has been a productive day. I definitely finished Vindicta. I got the crest and I got two Dragon Rider Lances. Pretty good. You know, we are, if we go and take a look, we are now at 437 kills with the crest and the lance, and we are now up to seven Zerosian essences. So let's do another spin of the wheel, let's see if we get lucky or not we shall see kind of hoping for Raziel Telos Zami big game hunter it is skilling wow and if I hadn't put that in there it would have been either arch it would have been arch Gla glacier I mean come on man that could have Ooh, that would have been fun actually I've been meaning to streak and just see how far I can push it, honestly. So if we pull up Big Game Hunter, if you aren't familiar, there is dinosaurs of three different tiers that you are able to kill, right? Makes sense. Simple enough. But the neat thing about it is you're not actually killing them in combat. It is skilling. So you might be like, okay, well, what are the drops? Well... For starters, you get the Dragon Matic. Pretty nice. Neat little uh, money. 
we'll go ahead and pull this up. Now, it is expensive to do them, as you can see. It'll cost me to do the tier 3 ones, 200, 400, 300k per. And frankly, I would much rather do these three than the others. Now, of course, I can do these, but they don't drop anything that I need, right? They don't have any rare drops. We can take a look. Take a look through here. Now, one in a thousand is insanity. And now that I'm looking at it and realizing it is one in a thousand, I, I don't know about doing a thousand of these if I'm going to be completely honest with you, you know? I mean, I, I don't know about that. I think we'll just accept if we get a Matic or one of these, then, hey, that's amazing. Or, uh, I don't think there's anything else we can get. Yeah, it's just those. So, we're going to hunt for Matic or a Superior Longbone. I've gotten two or three medics in my time killing these dino boys, but hey, we'll make a little bit of money. We'll get some hunter XP, probably get a level. Let's see what we can do here. Well, I guessed that it was going to be red, so I put all three red on there, and I got, well, first guess right. So, did we get anything? No, we did not, but that's perfectly okay. We can't expect to get everything in an every drop always, but let's go start up another instance. Well, same instance, another kill. And I think it's just quick start, yeah? I haven't done this in so long. So it's just red. This is super easy then. If it's, if yeah, if it's just red, I just gotta collect, yeah, this will be super fast. We can just go over here, rebuild. Yeah, this will be nice. All right, here we are for the third kill. Are we going to get anything? I should have just noted those. We'll go ahead and loot this, and no. Unlucky. That's okay. Red, red dehyde is actually sort of useless. I don't need compact resources, please. And let's go again. Another kill down. What do we get? Oh, my inventory is actually full. Hmm. So it's just going to drop on the ground no matter what. That's fun. And Arbuck Seed. Cool. I believe this is kill number four now. If I am thinking about it correctly. Let's go ahead and put these into my yak. Let's scan. Skin, not scan. Let's see what we get. No, never lucky. And a super fast kill here. We're actually saying we're getting like 1 mil an hour XP. This is insane. Oh, I thought I got something for a second. And they've now gone into hiding. So, let me go ahead and withdraw this. Note all of this. We'll go ahead and we're just going to... We can just keep it all in our inventory, honestly. We don't have to necessarily remove anything. We're going to go in and redeposit this. And then we'll grab over what we need to, which is either Gorbicula. Yeah, for the Maliotops. That is what we will do next. Can I drag? No, I cannot. But that's okay. That is perfectly okay. So, the Maliotops is located where? That is right Oh, that's actually super fast. It is right here. So we'll go ahead and do that one and let us continue on and see if we get anything there. Oh, right there's the first kill. It looks like it's going to be blues this time. I guessed wrong, so I had to waste one of my meats, which is okay, but it is expensive to mess up here. Uh, Lyshi seeds. These aren't worth anything at all, so we will just simply disassemble them not really worth it to keep track of them and we will just continue noting everything we have plenty of note paper not too concerned about that and we'll just steadily keep a track of how much loot we get because we can just continue extending our pack yak so we can really just keep running this until we get a drop okay kill number two 
We should be able to get like five kills. Not too bad. Five rolls for it. And nada. We got more Arbuck seeds though. Uh, I will gladly take those. And the dinosaur hide is nice. Uh, I should not try to note that. Good thing it will not. Because Arbuck seeds are about 100k a pop, I believe. Right. Yeah, 158k each. Same with the dinosaur hides. Those are 270k each. So really, really nice. And getting some hunter marks which is always nice i'm hoping i can get yes i was gonna say i hope i can get a double encounter yes they are a bit more shall i say stressful but i believe these only count as one encounter when you run into them which means you can technically get more kills and the second kill that i get is going to give me more loot it's going to double it which means more bones which mind you i'm using these bones for double xp for prayer uh, so this is also pertaining to the overall grind. And if I get a Matic, you know, that's more money. So you just got to be careful. You got to balance the two. So, like, I think here, uh, yeah, I don't. you don't do that. Definitely don't do that. But I actually need to get some of these frogs. I want to go ahead because I grabbed extra. Which, what's their path? I haven't been paying attention. Hmm. Okay, so this will be the first of the two kills, and if you haven't done Big Game Hunter, I'm sure I've said this in previous videos. I, as far as I'm aware, you have to, yeah, you have to loot, which this is not optimal here. Am I going to get away with it? Oh, just barely. <laughs> just barely. Uh, that's, yeah, not smart to do it that way, but, you know, sometimes it works, and it looks like I still have to repair... Is it one? Oh wow. Okay. He's really not happy. And the second kill coming out quickly without any problems there. I did cut it close, uh probably closer than I should on a double, especially if you get like a double or triple encounter. It is much better to play it on the safe side than do what I did and to well risk that encounter because they are a little bit more rare and always better to go and you get more loot so you'll see we will get oh i swear he always gets drops but we can see we got quite a bit there good amount of bones double the hides and double the meat now most people aren't buying these meats unless you are making the feast which is really the only use for them and what is this kill number well 10 because we got a double encounter i yep my math is uh, i think right uh inventory is a little full of logs but should be prepped for the next kill because we should be able to get another kill yes we can all this red dehyde that i just won't ever use but hey whatever and another kill to the board don't know if i should necessarily be recording all of them but this is at least something that is very easy to just record whenever i'm about to do this right here so another fail okay here we go on to the first kill let us see what we are going to get dino hide and some rock tail let's come on I would love... I've only ever gotten Dragon Maddox. Oh, salvage. Much, much fun. And getting to burn through all of this note paper. Alright, come on. Give me something. Never lucky. Oh, I think this is the... Yeah, last kill. Best kill. Come on. Nada. Uh, that means I've got to either wait... 12 minutes which is preferably not the route I go for the sheer fact that if I do have to wait uh, the wilderness events going to be coming up soon and I really don't want to miss out on that so I uh, I mean I don't see what other option I've got right now beyond to just wait 
honestly. Uh, and let us see. We need... We are a little bit shy of the titles, but that is perfectly okay. Let's go. We got us a drop. Uh, last kill, best kill. All right. Well, that's another stretch of time done. Some more bones, no drops. Uh, some more Simitops meat, which frankly I can't really do anything with because my deposit box is full. So we can just go ahead and deposit that. And I guess we can do a little kind of recap as to where we are sitting. This is the current loot tab. Um, again, barring some stuff up here, it's, uh, I'm not going to, well, the scripture of wins technically I can count, but I'm not. Pretty much it's from the spider leg bottom and down. We've done decently well. I am still doing Croesus runs, and I'm up to six manuscripts just in drops. So that's a nice uh, 48 mil sitting there. On top of that, currently, you can see, you know, Crest of Saren. I've got the Crest of Zeros, Vital Sparks, Visi, both Shadow Glaives, as we can see there. Sarah Swords, I mean... Full armor set, uh, two gloves, blade of avarice. This I'm just collecting as I'm killing next. I did get that Torva drop, so our even our cash stack is up. I mean, we've got a good amount of money just sitting here. And then for double XP, this is currently what it looks like. We still do need quite a few things. So blue charms, I am getting those up, but I will need to farm them. I need quite a bit more blue charms for 200 mil summoning. Um, I need to increase my liquid patch bombs. I need to finish getting these up to at least 203. It would be nice. Uh, I need to buy more cleansing crystals, more bones. Uh, water talismans I could always buy, but uh, I've got, I would like to at least get 20,000 blue charms or more uh, spirit shards. I will definitely need to buy about uh 10 million of them or more uh, summoning focuses I definitely don't need these but if I can afford them they are amazing for a boost uh, mahogany planks probably want to buy about another 200,000 of them and then I need to keep I need to go and just sit down and farm items you know these disassembly will be nice um, need to go ahead and level those up so we've got a, a ways to go on a bunch of things uh, today and tomorrow, as of recording this, will be the ending for the week. Which means, at that time, I will then go and sell this loot tab, and we'll spend it all. Now we are getting to the point in the challenge where I will start getting bosses that drop really good things. So I think as we get closer... Our loot's going to get even better. So, quite excited for that. We'll, uh, get some Torva boots. It's a log item. Some booties. Yes, we finally, finally did it. And we still have another kill in this. So, I can finally roll for something else. Let's go... Okay, so now that that's done, we don't have to be here anymore. So we're just going to go ahead and spin for the next one. And tonight is also raids night and the end of the week. Ooh. Wow. Dagonoth Kings it is. Okay. So taking a look over, we can uh, pull up. This is going to be... I want to try, actually, the AFK Necromancy build. I've not done it yet. Uh, let's see here. Is there a separate... So I've killed 428. And if we look, I've gotten one of each ring. I've gotten the Battle Staff, the Hatchet. I don't have a Seer's Ring. Don't have a Seer Cole or Pets. Um, this should be a pretty fast one, all things considered, because it's not a super rare drop between any of them. 
like at all. I mean, if I'm looking here, it's like a one in one twenty eight. So this should be a pretty fast one that we can probably get done in a quick manner. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, well, there we have the warrior's ring. So we have technically finished it. Like that's really all that I needed to do for it is get one of the rings. And I did. And the AFK method is actually just really nice. You just have to monitor. Uh, I could bring potion reservoirs and make this a bit more AFK. But, uh, you know, we're, we're just kind of chilling right now. I am going to go ahead and do the spin to see what we get next. We are finally limiting down what all we have left. I mean, Barrows won't be necessarily bad, but could be annoying. Uh, we got some other things. You know, the Legions, that one could be pretty annoying. Greg will be fun and easy. Um, QBD will be annoying. Chaos Elemental won't be annoying. It's super simple. It's super AFK. Uh, next, I'll enjoy Raziel. Uh, won't be that bad. Raksha will be tough because I've got to learn Raksha. Uh, the Rex Matrix won't be all that bad. Um, Zami, I need to learn it better. So this it'll be a time for me to learn. Same with Telos. Uh, Streaking, Art Glacier. I mean, we got a bunch of things here. So we shall see what we get. Are we going to get the excuse to grind Raziel? This is where the money is made. Oh, that will be a fun one. I'm pretty much just going to finish up my time at the Dagonoth Kings here. And that will be it from there. I mean, I'm just picking these up because I can just disassemble them. If we were to go to our beast here... And find Raziel, the first Necromancer. I've killed 147. And all we have are the robe bottoms right now, which means we can get any drop here, honestly. Just any unique. I will be extremely happy if I get a weapon. That will be phenomenal, especially if we get to make a cool 800 mil from it. Oh, come on, drop. Wow, wow. Nice. Damn, unlucky. Let's go. That's my first one. That's a log item, sick. Uh, good luck, everyone. Oh, an effigy. Finally. That's a that's a nice little 100 mil to the log. Okay, so that is now done. And we can go and spin for the next one here. What are we going to get? Oh, is it going to be ED2 or Zami? Zami, it is. Ooh, I will say I am a bit nervous about this. But uh, let's take a look here. Is it? I've done 13 group, one solo, and we are going to have to try to get a drop from it. I I can spam click. Easy. I don't know. I hope it counts. Oh, wait. Right then. So. Is this going to be. Hang on, right then. Is this keeps or splats? Uh, no achievement. All right, so this is the end of week one and the end of the episode. We still are going to be killing Zami, but we've got to sell everything in the loot tab. So let's start off with the first inventory, I should say. 237 mil. Let me sell this off. We will do the second inventory and see how much we made in total. Okay, so this is going to be the big one. 
this is where I'd say a lot of the money's gonna be. Seven, oh, wow. 700 mil. 736, I mean, Jesus. Okay, wow, okay. Yeah, Vin Vindicta made so much money. Uh, so let's get this sold and uh, I'll continue keeping track of how much we are at. And here is, I would say, the final inventory, barring maybe one or two things here or there. Not a ton, but still a good amount. 73 mil and just different alkable seeds. The Virtus robe top is half that, and I forgot I even had that. So that puts us at a what we made it roughly in this week was 1.22 to bill pretty dang good let me sell everything let me buy some double xp supplies and we can kind of go over where we sit all right so this is currently my double xp tab which is going to be uh everything that i'm going to go through now i need to do a lot still my invention is pretty pretty low I mean this is not nearly enough XP to have 200 mil so I need to work on that uh, that is one thing I do have a bunch of things I can siphon though I want to minimize how much I'm having to I do have some buy orders um, mainly for bones I'm going to need quite a bit more bones summoning wise I should be just about good maybe a little bit more on the spirit shards um, I'll probably need more summoning focuses. Uh, mahogany planks, I'm just about good on. The liquid patch bombs, supreme growth, the seeds, I'm good there. I've got all of the elder rune sets that I will need. So we're pretty set for getting this XP. But not completely. And I'd rather be having more and maybe you have to sell it and take a loss on what I sell than anything else. So that is it for week one. We will now begin on to week two and let's see if we can beat 1.2 bill. That's going to be the goal here. Try to make more than 1.2 bill on this next week. So let me know your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed it, let me know and I'll catch you guys later.